what is you ladies? My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Astro Creep. No, it's not a creepy dude perving on people in space. Not, nothing like that at all. It's a game kind of like uh, The Visitor. When I played that, where you get in, you're an alien, you have to get around a certain place, you have to infect a load of people. I think you take on the abilities of the thing you inhabit. I don't know, but it looked really cool. I like these little flash games because, I don't know, they're super gory and they're really fun to watch. <laughs> Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Not. Both equally terrifying. I agree. If we're not alone in the universe, which the likelihood of that actually happening is very, very slim, because I'm not talking about fucking brainiac life somewhere else. I'm not talking about sentient beings who are able to make spaceships and go around. But even microorganisms on other planets cons are considered life on other planets, so... That'd be really interesting if we could find something like that, but also if we are literally the only life in the entire universe, also terrifying. <laughs> Objective, use the mouse to click around the area and guide the alien through the rooms. Your goal is to evolve to a stage that allows you to create a nest and infest the entire space station. I like it. You Ridley Scott would be so proud of me. You will need to kill humans on board to evolve different evolutionary forms, unlock different options. Click this message close. I did that thing! Okay, are we inside a body already? Yeah! Yes! We already infested one of their space station men! Ew! Terrifying! Absolutely terrifying! When I hear an alien and it goes, Aah! it haunts my dreams. Okay, maybe my guy grows in the light! Um, okay, the vent. Can't do anything to the vent. Righty. What do we do? Aha! Okay, turn off the light and then we jump on it because I'm turning him into a little sizzle worm. Hello! You look like me! <laughs> if your hair was green, you'd be an exact analogy of me. You don't see anything? You don't hear anything? Hush, hush now, George! For your time has come soon! How are we even unlocking them? They sound like coins hitting the ground. He definitely heard that. George, you're a stoop. Ugh, I'm all gross and wiggle wormy. I don't like it. Ooh, it's Mario World decision time. I don't know what this does. Okay, let's go through door number four. That didn't work. What the fuck? Where the hell am I going? I come out there, so if I go back through there... This makes no sense! Okay, maybe I have to turn this. Now let's see where they go. Yeah, I did it! That was confusing as all hell! How the hell did that make any sense? The question prior, the answer is it didn't. <laughs> yes! But I feel bad for the dude. You're never supposed to kill a dude when he's on the toilet. Man, woman, child, or badger. You're never supposed to kill anybody when they're taking a the shit. That's when you're at your most vulnerable. You go in, you take off your little your little pantalones, and you sit down, and you're like... It's like, it's when you're at most at peace. When stuff is exiting your body, and you feel all great about yourself, and you're one with nature. You're sending stuff back to nature to decompose, and... Turn off the light. Okay, I can't. Oh no! Oh no! Poor dude! I'm straight up dead! Please don't tell me I have to start from the start. Don't- Oh, thank god! I thought it was gonna put me back in the space man again. Jesus! So that's all it takes to kill me? Frankenstein's monster. Did I click him in the toilet that time? See, I could be an alien monster as well if I want. Um, right, so... Unlock the door, open it, then jump in. Yes! We did it! Now we're in the water. You see that? He's gonna get up and look into it and he'd be like, When did I shite a green worm? And then it's like, You didn't, bro! Ew! Oh! I am the poop monster now, the poop alien. I'm literally a piece of shit right now. Notice, you have evolved, you can now spit venomous barbs. How does that make any fucking sense? Oh, I'm like a head crab. Out 
we go? Right, we have to go back in and kill fucking Duder back there. Close the door. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I, I went inside. I'm a suppository alien right now. I went up in his butthole and it came out his mouth. It's like an episode of South Park. Can I kill this dude now? Hello, Clarice. Would you like to taste my venomous barbs? I guess he would. ID, F. Thompson. I was close enough. Position, medical exam, PhD, clearance level C. This dude has a PhD. That is very good. Is it just gonna keep going? Oh! I'm just gonna leave you here with the sound of this. He's just eating a chicken sandwich, that's all. Click to confirm evolutionary phase. Choose whichever evolutionary phase you would like to pursue. Ooh! Do I become big bullhead or- Oh, the tentacle monster, of course. I look like Kang and Kodos from uh, The Simpsons. <laughs> That's cool. I like that I have choices. That's really neat. It means I can come back and try out the other ones. Hello, reception lady. You look like you've given up on life already. Jesus. Do I use you on- Ho ho! Unlock the door. Unlock I can't unlock the door. Okay. Don't mind me! I have a meeting with General Zod. Okay, can't go in there. <laughs> Never mind. I guess somebody has been hitting the sauce this weekend a bit hard. Jesus. Have you ever been so drunk that you belch and melted metal? I have. Don't fucking help me at all. Hush my mouth. Don't be shy. Holy fuck! It's oh, dude, I'm sorry, but how are you still making that sound? <laughs> D with flawless, absolutely flawless camouflage. Can you tell it's me? No, oh, of course not. Dum de dum de dum. <laughs> it's like a Wallace and Gromit type of shit. <laughs> I've always wanted legs, but not like this. <laughs> what the fuck? Nobody's gonna suspect a thing! Dr. Williams, he'd look pretty bad already! He's not Dr. Williams, he's just D. Williams. Where are we going? Did I- did I finish it? Is that it? All I, my goal for this entire game was just that I wanted legs all this time. Now I'm beautiful! Ah, okay, thank god, Jesus. Six hours later. Oh, did I make- Oh, I did make my nest! Oh, it's gross! Infestation complete! Ew, look at them all! They're so gross! Go away! It's like little maggots! Ah, oh, Jesus. Can I- Can I go again? Okay, I wanna do this again. That was fun. And I didn't kill everybody. Two possibilities exist. I read that already. Come on! Uh, speed run this time. Wait till you see. Yes. Turn off the light. Uh, come out. Burst your way out, yes! I hear you, little duder. Atta boy. Atta boy, yes! You don't see anything, Franklin Thompson! Don't even worry about it! I didn't go this way the first time. There's loads of things I can do! Never mind. There's fucking nothing that I can do. Nothing is worthwhile! Everything is a lie! Now I can't remember how I did these pipes. I did you- I went in you, I think. Nope. I went in you. And I went in you. Nailed it! Perfect! I am the best! At alien cryptology. Uh... There we go! Right inside the butthole! Dude! Don't you know proper pooping etiquette? If I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm like, shit. There's no toilet roll, or shit, the light's on, or shit, the door's up. When you get up, you clench. You clench and then nothing can get inside your little bee hole, because the bee hole is precious. Don't let anyone get inside your bee. Okay, there's nothing else I can do in there. I think I've exhausted all options after this. dum dee dum dee dum Um, so the only thing left to do is become the big bulb-headed weirdo freak. Ha <laughs> ha! Poison barb in your dick hole. Yes! Now I look 
looked like a basic alien. A basic bitch. With the, the grey eyes. Dum de dum. I'm cute. I'm adorable. Can I do anything at reception? Can I really not open this? What the fuck? Oh! Cause I'm all glory to Hypno Toad right now! Oh Jesus, yes! Oh, that was gross! Don't mind me. I have just been eating human food. I like to do human things like go outside and watch the birds. <laughs> like totally trying to blend in but you can't at all. Everyone's like, Janice, did you do something with your hair? No, human, what do you mean? My hair has always looked like a Glorfnor. Is it new glasses? No, my Glorfnor is the center of all antimatter. <laughs> <laughs> Blend right in, baby. Let's go talk to Steve. Or whatever the fuck his name was. D something. <gasps> D Williams. How did- Oh, can I control you? Oh my god, I turned him into fucking D Williams curry. <laughs> That's the the sound oh, that's coming out when you control people is all glory to Hypno Toad from Futurama. That's awesome. Is that all the differences there were? I am going now down the hallway like humans do. I can really feel it in my gloric of lacks of How do you pronounce that like a human? <laughs> okay, I, I think that's the same thing. Are they gonna still be the same worm babies though? Those- oh, my little babies. I have finally given birth to life. My little worm babies can go and spread their destructive joy to the world. Because, I mean, if they get joy in killing other people, then who are you to judge? Actually, that's pretty horrible. Yeah, if you get joy out of killing other things, you might be a psychopath. A high-functioning psychopath. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. Go, my little wormy dudes! Why did I need six hours to do that? And why did I need to go into a fucking cabinet to do it? Couldn't I have just done it back in the other room? I don't know, man. Okay, that was Astro Creep by Suits and Nukes. This is really fun. It, it is very much the same as the Visitor games. There's a little less to it than the Visitor games, which is kind of disappointing. It was over pretty fast. We got to go through it twice in one video, which is pretty neato. Um, I, I would like to see more options or just a bigger level. Hopefully, maybe there's an Astro Creep too. I have no idea. I have no idea when this was made. It might be actually a brand new thing. But I hope they make a new one. Like an Astro Creep 2. Or if there is an Astro Creep 2, I'm gonna play the shit out of that. Because that was really fun. I like the design of the alien. And I like the choice of being able to evolve into one or the other. So, I'd like to see a longer version of it. Where you get to evolve a bunch of times. And you get to choose like four times what you want to evolve into. And to have different outcomes. Because I liked... The fact that one of them melted the vent and then went into that and killed the dude from the back and then the other one didn't need to go in the back. It was just like, I'm mind controlling you. It's pretty neat. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss and my face all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys. They will see all you dudes. Come on, for the Oh, I, I'm 560. Yeah, I do need a reality check. <laughs> I command you to watch this video. Oh, you've already watched it? Negatory, negatory. Uh, time paradox. I'm dead now, you've killed me. Are you happy?